don't know, I think you're going to do really great things, but I think it's also important to note it doesn't have to be career. You can do really great things elsewhere in other parts of your life, like your career doesn't define you. We will hear legends of, of your <laughs> of your travels tell. and journeys from other people. I'll be out, I'll probably be out like in a diner in in Nevada in the middle of the yeah. desert, and someone be like, oh, "Have you heard the tales of Sarah Whittle? The woman whose hair color changes every week. She's like that horse from Wizard of Oz." <laughs> Sara Weedle, Sara Weedle, Sara Weedle, Sara Weedle, Sara Weedle. Summer and winter games. For me, producing that will be some of the most <laughs> creatively fulfilling moments of my life. Like, it's so stupid because it's like, what's the punishment? And I'm like, eat a fart. And like, okay. <laughs> Sarah's leaving. <laughs> all right, all right, sorry. I'll start it off. Right. Sarah's leaving. Sorry, I Sarah seen has that to. Cat. Sarah has to leave. She's going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody, Sorry. and welcome to the Smosh Cast. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's been a long time. No, this is not a mistake. This wasn't like an old podcast that randomly just popped up in your feed. This is a brand spanking new podcast. Do you want proof? Dogecoin. Wait, hold up the newspaper. <laughs> Yeah, we'll hold up a news uh, newspaper that says Dogecoin hits it again. Hits it again. <laughs> it's almost on the moon. Um, but guys, uh, we're here today, and well, I guess you probably read the title, and it's something like Sarah Whittle is leaving Smosh with like five question marks and in parentheses, clickbait, not really. And then there's like a thumbnail of us going, and I'm like sad or Sarah shocked. Le- Sarah leaving Smosh parenthesis board AF. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, this is this is a a real thing that is that is happening. Sarah, you are oh, and and for the for the listeners, uh, it's myself here today, along with Courtney Miller, Shane Top, and our favorite person, Sarah Whittle. Oh, that's, right. that's very very nice. Thank you guys so much for doing this. I uh, you know when I had uh, put in my uh, notice, I wasn't expecting this, so I, I really do appreciate everyone taking the time and doing this. This is so, I was not expecting it. So I'm very humbled. Thank I mean, you guys. You deserve the best way out possible. <laughs> Sarah, I mean, I kind of I kind of got the inkling over the, the months you were talking about like missing your family and kind of, I got the sense like, so is this something you were, you were kind of been thinking about for a little bit or? Um, well, yeah, I, I guess like if, if you haven't seen the, the try not to laugh that was up today. Yeah. I'm, I'm leaving Smosh. I'm, uh, found a new opportunity. And I think like everyone's question is like, why is Sarah leaving Smosh? Um, what's the tea? Sis? What's the tea? <laughs> Who is mean to you? And the, and the truth is, is Shane is mean to me. <laughs> that's correct. And that's why, uh, no, but I think it's like, it, it's always like, uh, I think the question is, is like, why is Sarah leaving? There must be something wrong. And ultimately, at the end of the day, there was no challenge here that I wasn't willing to face or work through. Um, And ultimately, it came down to this past year being so hard um, and really putting a spotlight on what home means for me. Mm. And being a military kid, being uh, someone that home is kind of everywhere and nowhere at the same time, (laughs) and being home so much the last year, I really want to shift my focus to my home and my family and and what that means. And for me personally, I never looked as Los Angeles as like a final place for me too. Um, I never felt like this was home for me. It was fun. And I and it's a fun city, but I, I never saw myself like actually putting roots down here. And so the last year I was I was really challenging myself what that is. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm literally leaving the state and that's <laughs> why I'm leaving. <laughs> She's running away from us as far as yeah. possible. And as much as we've worked from home decently well throughout all this craziness, it's just we you, you don't you can't work. What you can't work for, at Smosh and what in, in where you're going? What? I don't. Delete what that. were you saying? <laughs> I was just saying like I was just, it was supposed to be a joke. I was like, yeah, you oh, we've been we working from home. home. We can, can work, do from home. You can still be at Smosh. <laughs> just delete it, Kevin. No, nope. <laughs> but you found. But I mean, like you, because you found like a pretty kick-ass job. Oh my I mean, god! Like, yeah. When I mean, we all when we all heard what it was, we we're like, 
Yes, this yeah. is a Sarah job. Well, it just so happens that like me wanting to make this like quality of life move also coupled with like a really, really cool opportunity that, you know, I'm going to keep close to me because that's yeah. it's my business. I want to keep it close to me. But all my friends know. And it's like it's such a, an exciting opportunity. And the fact that it's taking me out of California and then I can build what that home is for me. Like it's it's all such a dream situation. And I, I feel so grateful because I wouldn't have this opportunity without Smosh. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that it's like when I look back and then this is when we cry. But when I look back at my time at Smosh, I really feel so lucky. I feel like I... I realized I've done like pretty much every position because I started yeah. I started yeah. as a coordinator. I was like AP, then I was a producer, then I moved over to the social team. And then like I one time was like flew to Sacramento to because Olivia had food poisoning. Too. So I was Olivia's understudy. <laughs> and then like uh, I, you know, at the top of last year, moved over to like kind of creatively directing um, Smosh Pit and Smosh Games. And then also being more in front of camera because of kind of the restrictions and and, and stuff us trying to keep it small um so i feel i i've had so many perspectives i've directed sketch too yeah. like you've it, been all over the place it's crazy and i feel so grateful for all those opportunities like yeah. they taught me so much but it was just a playground like how cool thank you guys so much for that yeah, yeah. for for our audience you know like you're not on camera as much as us, but you've been there for the entire time. Like it's weird for me to think about like the perspective of a lot of audience members because for me, like you you were at you were here every step of the way. Like mm -hmm. every I think you were yeah at winter games 20, summer games like everything like I showed up at 2015. I think you guys were super fresh. I think yeah, it was right after. Shane, definitely. I think you and I showed up at like the same time. It was like right after the first summer games. I didn't I didn't wasn't involved in yeah. that. And then I just kind of I was like freelancing for a long time and hanging out. But yeah, it, it's crazy. And then obviously we knew we know I left before. I know mm -hmm. I left before, but I came back. <laughs> and we, we yeah we dragged you back. <laughs> Like we begged Sarah, for we, you. Sarah, we pretty much Sarah dipped out. She found a good job. She dipped out of Smosh <laughs> right before Defy collapsed. She saw she saw the writing on the wall. You're the reason I, for I the did. collapse. I did. I I knew something was going to happen because the I was there for three years. Did it happen in 2018? I was there for three yeah. years at that point. I was managing budgets of like all the Smosh Pit productions and stuff people were saying to me from above. I was like, mm, this is not a good thing to say to someone. Oh. So I think something is happening. And I think the day I had my interview for that job that I left Defy for, um, I had walked out and they had, they'd had they give me a big grab bag of like merch and product and stuff like that. And I was like, this is the best day of my life. And then my writer at the time at Defy said, hey, I can't write anymore. Um, or upload anything because Defy didn't pay the internet <gasps> and it had gone out. Yeah. And I was like, writing's on the wall. There's so Ooh, many. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. boy. But you guys wanted me back like six or seven months later yeah. whenever um, Mythical bought Smosh and it was, it was a very easy decision. But you were... Yeah, six or... Yeah. But, but I mean, you were like a day one higher right yes i was yeah and when, i had when we to came back yeah and i and i had to like negotiate mm -hmm. uh, a starting date because it was like get here now and i was like i cannot i am on a show and i am the only producer for the show <laughs> yeah um but yeah i i was like kind of working from home before the launch and then like arrived like a week later yeah because i mean just... like we i mean we knew how how important you you were and and how well are um <laughs> but and how like you know special your brain is and and how well you worked with us before so it kind of seemed like i mean it was it was vital that that we got you back like it was it was incredibly important to us that smosh started over with you I mean, <laughs> sorry. I, did I know I, I saw Corner. You triggered me. And <laughs> I I like, triggered me. Sorry, I just have so much I want to say, and I like don't know how to say it. And so then my tears are like, I'll do it. And now they're coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I came back, and the reason why I said it was an easy decision, it was hard and stressful and like intense, but like it was an easy decision because I love all of you guys. And it was like, if if we're coming back, 
And we're, we have this last chance to fight. Like, I want to be a part of it because, like, I know it's not all resting on me, but I want to be a part of the team. And I want to believe that me being there can help everyone, like, get to the next level. Like, what is it? High, high tides raise all ships. Like, that's why I came back. And, and, and that's the only reason. <laughs> like, of course, it's all fun and stuff, but it's because I love all you guys so much. And um, <laughs> we have now plumped I mean, a when big we were, when Kleenex we were, box. When we were coming back, I mean, I pretty much said, like, I don't know if I would come back if Sarah wasn't there because I knew that Smosh Pit, I knew that you you just understood how to, like, how to make, like, good shows. And Even uh, after you left, like, literally, I'm just going to, sorry, let me gas you up. I don't care. Like, <laughs> when you left for the previous job when Defy was still a thing, you like Josh Miley took it on and Josh Miley was a really great director to work with. But like you left him with a to do list of amazing ideas. And then suddenly Pitt was making a million views every video. Like <laughs> it was like not every video. I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit. but Like we were killing it. And like when when I remember during the shutdown, like I was really nervous about the new chapter because there was just like so much in the unknown. <laughs> Like, big changes were coming in. I'm, like, I'm a person that, like, fears, like, what's going to happen? Like, mm-hmm. I have no idea. Like, you're irreplaceable. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, like, obviously, like, Smosh is going to be okay. Yeah. But, like, you, like, your brain, dude. You're, like, uh, sometimes I'm, like, look at the little character. So it'll be funny in a video. <laughs> but, like, you have curated so much. So I remember at the shutdown, Matt and I, like, we were we were close friends by the end of Defy, but like, I decided to get him for a lunch, and I was like, "Hey," because I remember at that time like he really wasn't sure about go- joining, and I was like, hey, "Please, like you, I need you, and I need you to help get Sarah on, like because like I don't like unscripted without you guys just doesn't make sense." It's so funny how it was like a chain because as soon as I got hired, I was like talking to Matt, and I was like, "How can we get Tommy? Yeah. Like I know he just got a new job, but like, can we?" Get, let's get Tommy mm-hmm. in, please. I want, and so it's just so funny that it was a yeah, chain. It was like literally <laughs> holding hands and creating this planet. But yeah, and then I like sat down with you, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Hey, like, how? What do I do?" And you were there to help me, <laughs> even during the shutdown. Like, you were helping people with their resumes. Mm-hmm. You were giving people basically the shirt off your back. To, I like, gave help someone them. a laptop. You literally <laughs> gave somebody your computer to help them with their future. Like. That's and that's such an epitome of like what you've done because from the start of you at Smosh, like you were doing way more than you were like signed. Hey, you more than you bargained for. Sorry, um, you were you were always doing so much. I feel like you're never like you always just deserve more credit. Like it doesn't matter. You will always deserve more credit than what's given. Um, but I think I'm only as good as like the company I keep. And honestly, like, that's that's fully what it is, is, like, I cannot do any of this alone. And, like, the thing that, like, really motivated me and that I loved about this job is, like, it's almost like party planning. Like, I'm planning a party for all of you guys to, like, have <laughs> fun. And I'm, like, setting you guys up. And I'm putting, like, fake scenarios in my head. And, like, I'm, I'm a bit of an overthinker. And so that helps me in this situation because I'm, like, ooh, if I put Shane in this outfit, I hope he makes this joke or whatever. And I was just explaining to everyone before the trial not to laugh I was like I really wanted to wear like a black and white shirt today with cats on it but I knew people were gonna make jokes about me wearing rainbow clothes so I'm gonna wear (laughs) rainbow clothes (laughs) that's that's, the producer brain that's my producer brain and and but it's especially with unscripted it's only as good as you guys bring it I could put the perfect party together if you guys aren't in it too like it's nothing and so I think that's the that's the awesome thing about Smosh, and that's one of the things I'll miss a lot is like it is such a collaborative effort, and every every person here is working so hard. Art is working so hard. Would you believe that most of the things we shoot is in one freaking room, <laughs> and and you know people are we have thumbnail editors, we have editors, we have you know all everyone is working their ass off to create one thing that we present out into the world, and that's so cool you know how we get emails of people being like how can i join smosh or like when people leave smosh it's like how can you do that like how can you leave smosh like smosh is it and it's like easy to think like because this isn't just a job like it really it becomes your whole life it is 24 7 it's your personality it becomes you're like this job really yeah. becomes like a personality <laughs> trait um yeah. but at the end of the day, <laughs> this is therapy for all of us at the end of the day it's a job and like 
it's like it it's you've literally found something for you that is so much better for your life and like i'm so excited and like i said this in the try not to laugh but like i'm really excited for all the friends you're gonna make and all the people (laughs) that are gonna lean on you and trust you because like throughout all of the the different buildings we've worked in throughout all the the different producers the different toxic people have been around i've always been able to lean on you and trust you with my brain and like that's so special to have, especially like woman to woman. Yeah. That like I'm re- like I'm really gonna miss you. I'm really gonna miss you. And I think it's like it's like it was for us at least like I always felt so connected to you and Olivia because I think like it's so it's so like it's all about representation, right? And I feel like when I first moved to LA and how YouTube was and stuff, there wasn't a lot of representation in, in with funny goofy women. And, and, and Olivia being Asian, me being Korean, like, I admired you guys so much. I thought you were so funny. Like, the first day I ever showed up on set, I was like, these people are goofy as f-. <laughs> And I love it. Yeah, and yeah. so, like, you guys have inspired me so much. And that only makes me want to put you in cool situations that you can be funnier and, and push it and everything like that. Like, that's, I think that's my favorite part of this job is seeing everyone thrive. And like when I'm directing, nodding my head and being like, that was really f-ing funny. And that was really, you did exactly like what I was thinking, or you did more than what I was thinking. How cool. Like, I loved seeing like Shane, like in the beginning, you were so quiet. I remember seeing you and being like, he's, he's the quiet one of the group. And, and, and when I first, I think it was new, the squad was new. Like you yeah. guys were figuring out the dynamic. Like the first squad vlogs yeah, ever. ever. And I remember thinking he's so quiet. And then like the next nine months, I saw you like grow into your, your, yourself and figure out how to work within the group and everything like that. And, and it, it's so, in, it's so amazing and inspiring to see people finding new things new new levels to themselves new new areas of their talent i think that that has been really really fulfilling and like tommy being a perfect example of seeing seeing the cool sh- like giving him the runway mm-hmm. that was my big goal mm-hmm. was like giving him the runway on the social team to be like what do you want to make and then him and i just have like this mental connection where we're like boop beep, boop and all those stupid notes i give he understands and then he <laughs> makes it better so it, that is so satisfying in this. And I think that's what that's why I loved it so much. Yeah. Because you guys made me better and I made you guys better. Yeah, I mean, I you're always going to try to make you're making me try and be better on TikTok cuz your TikTok game is better than any of our TikTok <laughs> game combined. Like I don't damn. even have a game, but I'm you're sure You're the best it'd be influencer bad. in this damn team right now. <laughs> <laughs> I always said I it was like influence the influencers cuz yeah. I would like Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's so great. Yeah, I mean the the amount of the amount of work you did um a lot of which was probably unwarranted. Uh, <laughs> uh, could not be, but absolutely ca- necessary. Yeah, could not be counted. Like you, you did, you did a lot more than than what any one person should be doing. Um, so, I mean, if if I'm allowed to dispense some advice, I I think you know in this in this next job, you shouldn't feel like you need to prove yourself. Because, you know, wow, you, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, you hit it, dude. You hit it. Because I, I feel like you, you. It always seemed like you were fighting to, you know, to prove yourself as as being worth it, and we always tried to acknowledge you. Yeah, sometimes as, it feels like a fight. It does. Right, and it, I, I know that, like, obviously, you know, coming up in like the entertainment industry as, <laughs> as you did, like being being a host and being like in news and everything and mm-hmm. being in like a male dominated field. Yeah. Um I know that can I know that, you know, it could feel like a fight. And I hope that, you know, in this in this next job you can just you can just kind of acknowledge that you have this wide range of talents. You don't need to overstretch yourself. Yeah. Like just yeah. Yeah. I feel like something I've always admired about you, though, is like you've always been so sure of yourself. <laughs> like from even in the beginning, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. like we all like enjoy being in videos. But like you were off. We were like, what? You're also a clever host. Like, damn. cool, <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And like on social media, you've always been like it's, it's something that I admire because I feel like I second guess everything I do online and or just like in life. And 
I feel like you're very sure of yourself. I think it was like, I want people to recognize that. I hope, I seriously hope where where you're going. And I feel like they already knew, they already understand like that you are one of the most talented people that they could possibly hire. And like, it is a fight. It is a fight. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't like, and I hope that there is like, no fight and I feel like that's what it's gonna be like you are this is a place where you like this is it's not the end all be all but it's like this is one of those opportunities where it's like you did it yeah you did it yeah and you deserve this thank you so yeah I appreciate that so much and Ian what you said you like you nailed it and I think that's like something that I've really learned in the last year and especially in the last month like giving my notice and everything being like I put so much pressure on myself right and I always think, like, how can I do this better? And I think I get it from my mom because she, she's an immigrant. She didn't know any English when she arrived. And she had a lot of people pushing her down. And she always said to me, like, work hard. Work hard. And I, I fully, like, yes, let's work hard. If I'm here, I don't want to waste my time. Like, let's fucking work hard. Yeah. But I think also, yeah, like, I don't have to push myself to be everywhere and be everything for a while. And, like, last year was really hard. And, like, I was on camera a lot. And that was to, like... That I was had... just because we had a lack of... We had a lack of people. And you were just, like, you and Matt, like, neither of you had aspirations to, like, be like, okay, we're going to be the the Smosh Games people. It's like, yeah. you guys just signed up for that because we just had a lack of people. Yeah, we didn't time. have there anyone. There was no like, one around. Like, yeah. I, know, I know a lot of like, a lot of like, you know, viewers thought that you guys were like scrambling for airtime, but you weren't. Like no. you guys just stepped up to the plate on your own accord and was like, we'll, we'll be there. And you put you guys, you put yourselves through all the bad punishments too. Like you had to <laughs> yeah. go through this, like you, there was no. Yeah, there was never a punishment or a food that I, I would give you guys that I wouldn't do. That, yeah. That's like been the rule since day one. I'm like, if, if I'm not going to do it, that's why I'm like, we need to tone it down mm. with the spice and stuff because it f***ed up my whole weekend. Mm. Like, and yeah, it was, it was intense because we were, it's nine hours a week on Twitch. And for a while, I was doing that every week. So that's a full work day gone of not my main <laughs> job. <laughs> right. I was going for it because I love you guys so much. And mm. it was the thing we had to do. And I had fun. Like, we get to play board games on a live stream. Like, this stuff is so mm -hmm. fun. It's exhausting. Yes. It's fun. Yes. So I hope, you know, if this next place is like, Hey, we, we we have a lack of talent that you don't just go. Okay, I'll do it all. <laughs> no, no, I I see that, but that's the whole thing about investing like into my home and what my home is and outside and like yeah. I picked up sewing again in the last year and that was really fulfilling. It got me off my fucking phone and like I was like I want to explore more things like this, more things outside of 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 looking at a screen, which I felt like for a while I was like glued to. Yeah. Yeah. And somehow you still managed to put out like all that TikTok content. <laughs> I don't even understand how how you do it. I don't, don't know. Own, you don't have TikTok on your phone, so how could you understand? That's, that? that's true. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just like, God, you're just creating all this content you're, on the side. It, your picture should be next to the definition of powerhouse. Like oh. seriously, I'm not like I'm not uh, <laughs> like you're not working here. I don't have to suck up to you anymore. So this is just me. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> all right. What are you, Shane? What are you, Shane? Got? Are you okay? What are you? Yeah. I'm... Are you okay? You okay, are you Shane? Okay? You okay? Are you okay? You know what I've been thinking about this whole week is, um, <laughs> like, <laughs> it goes all about like sandwiches. Yeah, you know, so sandwiches. No, honestly, back. like when we were ta like just talking about like this this try not to laugh in this podcast, I was just thinking back and like the memory that keeps popping up in my head is back at Defy, you had a desk that was like right near like a corner. And I, my thing was always just, I would just walk around the entire office, like all the time. Cause there was, if I had nothing to do, I would just walk around and just say hi to people. But I would walk past your desk and in my loudest Courtney freaking Miller voice, I would just, as I was walking past, I would just be like, <laughs> like I would just, I would just yell it. Like I would yell it every time, every single, even if I had to walk past your desk, like 50 times that day, I would do it every single time. I would just yell. At the top of my and why did and that, why did they put us on the other side of the office of everyone why. else? I, I wonder why. I don't get it. But that's <laughs> I don't know why. Like that's that that period of time for some reason. Like I feel like that's when you and I became like mm -hmm. really good friends. Mm -hmm. And I was just constantly walking by your desk just to say shit. Yeah. Just to roast you or just whatever. We um, would just shout at each other and then like during our off time we would talk. <laughs> yeah. 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 When or yeah. 
<laughs> or I'd be at a bar and be like, come out, come <laughs> out. Dude, you, you introduced me to oysters. Oh, really? Yeah. I, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Can't wait for those again. Claudio introduced me to oysters, so it's like oh. a chain effect. Oh. We got Matt into oysters at Australia. That's oyster right. gang. Oyster, yeah. oyster gang. I think I think on that note, I, I'll talk about my favorite memories. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's sure. Because sure. I think a lot of us have similar ones. And I think uh, I will obviously start with summer and winter games, mm-hmm. yeah. like adult sleepaway camp, making content. It was so, so fun. And it felt like it was such a bonding experience for everyone. And also like... For me, producing that with Joe and Matt will be some of the most (laughs) creatively fulfilling moments of my life. Like, it's so stupid because it's like, what's the punishment? I'm like, eat a fart. (laughs) (laughs) I'll never forget the time where I said, eat a fart. And Matt was like, that's the best idea I've ever heard. (laughs) But that's what it would be like. That's what our Mm -hmm. brainstorms are like. And I learned so much from Joe and I learned so much from Matt. And it's just like, that shit was so fun. Did you have a a, a conversation with Joe at all where he gives you just the most heartfelt, like, have you had that conversation? Oh yeah, him and I had so many Joe is the sappiest human (laughs) on the planet. He will take every opportunity to be like, hey man, just want to say, um, it's just incredible to see like your growth. It's incredible Aww. to see like what you're doing. And you're like, you're like Joe. It's seven in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's seven a.m. And that's Joe Beretta for anyone that Joe knows. Beretta yes. of Joe the Beretta. Valley folk. He used to be a creative director when I first joined at at Smosh, and it was so fun. It, it and and that was so fulfilling. But then actually being at summer and and winter games, like that winter games house was. So cool. That big old cabin, yeah. So nice. And then um, Summer Games Camp was so fun. Oh, yeah. And I think when people say, like, what's your emotional support YouTube video? Mine is Hot Pepper Talent Show. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. My that one. Yeah favorite video ever <laughs> and watching like it cut back to the audience and everyone's just fucking oh, everyone's dead. <laughs> empty auditorium with it's like 10 classic. people like somebody scrambling for yogurt and just drooling going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go Olivia yeah. Oh my God. I did ribbon I did ribbon dancing I believe yes you were so funny in that <laughs> everyone and Olivia did burlesque oh yeah so and she like trips over the dress I think I think the Hot Pepper Talent Show is when we when we started questioning whether hot peppers were good for our health. Yep. <laughs> I think that was one of the last times we ever did it. Yeah. It was there was a time where it was like a, happening very often. Yeah. You, you know what's cool about <laughs> I, I in my opinion about winter and summer games is that a lot of times you're watching YouTube videos and it's like it's like everyone's having fun and doing this crazy thing and right and we are having tons of fun but we are Afterward, we yell cut. Then we're like, okay, now we're back to like, let's like, what are we doing next, whatever. Um, but with summer and winter games, like you're actually catching a glimpse of like a party that was going on for a whole week. Mm-hmm. And it'd be like, okay, yell cut. But then we're still having that same fun. Like you're really getting a slice of life. Except for the, kick, yeah. except for the kickball episode. Oh, well, that was so funny. But it's real. You're watching it was real. So funny. Yeah. Dude, when I took a break during that moment, I was uh, like, you guys have it. I'm going to like sit down because those days sometimes are very mm-hmm. intense. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was like, have I was like, mom, have fun at school, kids. And then you guys all came back in the sh- mood ever yeah. it was like no it was following rules and then, blah, 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 and then there's and you guys are all covered in lube and i was like <laughs> what is this <laughs> what happened it's what happens when keith and i are on a team and we're, olivia we're, gets so competitive that's the yes yeah, she does that has my we, one of my favorite quotes of hers where spencer <laughs> put in like the tiny text of her running cry away keith don't even let me get me started <laughs> don't even let You're me get <laughs> we're all so competitive but oh, so many of us are not willing to admit it yeah we're all like, we're not, I'm not competitive. And then we all get well, so competitive. And we were so competitive over a game that nobody agreed on what the rules yeah, were. Yeah, we're always like, we all know kickball, it's fine. But the there's rules like kept changing. East Coast rules, <laughs> West Coast well, rules. Well, and it's also like hard too, because like if you're a ref, I'll tell you the ref's perspective. Oh, please do, T. Is you don't want to be a dick, but you kind of have to be a little bit of a dick. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like this tough balance of being like, no, you guys are breaking the rules, but like, you know, it's yeah. like tough because we don't want to be the bad guys of like, it's a tough balance, and then oh, yeah. we're coworkers at the end. It's not like that's why refs are probably not friends with players because they could just be like, no. Yeah, 
<laughs> and then yeah. there's also like, okay, well, how does this video end? Interesting and things like that. I'll, I'll let play. That was a rough one. <laughs> it's so funny. That was though. probably, I'm trying to think of like I remember a I, called, worse... I called Keith a cheater and then he was so mad at me. <laughs> I remember running around the bases. I was running for my life. I was so scared because he was coming. He had the ball and the, oh, the yeah, rage in his so. eyes. And he was running. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how fast Keith oh, is. Oh, he got me. Keith is so yeah. fast. Oh, yeah. Though. We have raced multiple times. He's faster than me. Rightfully so. Oh, he's so fast. He's a quick little he's guy. He's so fast, dude. Um, um, I had other favorite moments. Oh, yeah, you wrote please. them down. Yeah, I wrote them down because I didn't want to forget and I really want to spotlight it. Um, the first time I ever watched the Intergalact Whip, Intergalact Whip in rehearsals. Oh, oh wow. It was, it was, it was so cool. It was so cool. Like, <laughs> I was not involved with any of that at the time. Um, I was, I think I was like just helping out with, with I was associate producer or something on, on um, Smosh Pit and they were like, hey, come by and watch our stuff. And, and this was for Smosh Live. Was this like was for Smosh Live right? at the YouTube space, yeah. And so I was like, okay. And so we went and we were like in this rehearsal sp uh, space and you guys did did all the sketches, but then you did the intergalactic whip. And I thought that was so f cool. It was so f funny. Smosh Live is this distant memory, but it <laughs> yeah. was such a crazy thing. It's one of the biggest things we've ever done. It was just because it was so early on. I hadn't even been here for a year mm -hmm. when really? we did it. It was in 2016. Oh. And I joined in 2015, so it was like right at maybe the year mark, but mm -hmm. like it was this big, huge thing. Um, it's so weird to think about like how you're talking about like you were just an associate producer, like you weren't involved. And at this point now, like you were you're you're the main voice of so many things like it's crazy to see that journey it's hard for me to look back and be like oh you weren't the main know, driving force of that because yeah. like i, I it's all. hard for me to picture you not being such a driving force <laughs> of this brand mm -hmm. uh it's crazy it was so cool and you guys were like so on it that writing was so good but then like keith was so good and then like olivia and you guys all being aliens was like so fucking weird and like <laughs> hilarious and, and like, even though yeah <laughs> Still one of the best moments. I think the reason we cracked up so much, or you guys cracked up so much, of that was because in the rehearsals, you guys were always cracking up mm -hmm. at that yeah. line, right? Well, uh, no, every time Olivia delivered like that every line, time her voice, just her voice, just, it went as in, that character. Yeah. We were all like, "Oh yeah, right. we, I'm an alien." Then she hers, was like, "I'm an alien." Yeah, <laughs> it's just quintessential. I think that was like the. I think that was probably one of the first times we saw Olivia as like weird Olivia. Yeah, because that that didn't come through like, right away. Olivia either. early on, like in our in squad vlogs and stuff, we were all like a little bit more normal, and then like our our personality started to branch. Out. Like you were talking about, I became louder, but Olivia became, became weirder. Louder. I love it. Yeah, and yeah, because uh, because when they were hired, they like were like okay, we're hired actors and stuff. They didn't like because Olivia told me she didn't realize like she had to be on mm -hmm. for Smosh Second Channel at the time. Uh, so like they were all confused of like what a YouTube persona was. Um, coming from Vine and professional acting to that. So, like, it, it really was, you watched us literally find ourselves together. Yeah. And then, and I wasn't close with you guys at that point. And I think, like, now in the last year since I've been on camera more and I am experiencing probably what you guys experience as, as being on camera and having such large followings on a large platform. And that also opened up my eyes to things that I didn't ever realize that you guys were going through and that you guys experience. And so I have a whole nother appreciation. Like online harassment? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot to deal with. And yeah. I, it really forced... It forces a person to love themselves and uh. fully accept who the fuck you are, man. <laughs> yeah. I liked myself. I really like myself now. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> you have to. Yeah. You have to. Um, I think a, another uh, favorite memory of mine is anytime we go out and we party. Yeah. As a group. Dude, Smosh knows how to party. Smosh knows how to party. We're the most like warming people. We're the ones taking up the dance floor and being like, yeah. everyone come. Yeah. yeah. Come. Yep. I start the Macarena no matter what's going on. <laughs> yep. You can do the Macarena to any song. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think oh, it's I so much that. fun. One time we went to karaoke. Do you remember? It, we were at Defy and we went to karaoke. And it was I think it was the first time. Oh, it was the first time I really like understood Garrett. Because he <laughs> sang karaoke that night and he f***ing oh, killed he it. Was this, was this the soju night? 
This oh. was like some small dive bar oh, okay. in Beverly Hills. Yeah, are you talking okay. about the one where? Uh, yeah, so that's Scott what I was gonna East, say. Scott Eastwood. Yeah, so Scott Eastwood went up to Garrett and was like, "Who are these people?" Oh, uh, I thought he actually he came up to me. Oh, was it you? He came up to me and he yeah. goes, he goes, "Hey, is this like a what? Is this like a wedding or like what? Like he thought it, he was just like, what is this? And I was like, oh, we just. We're just off work. We work at Smosh. And he's like, oh, cool. And then it was a couple weeks later yeah. where <laughs> Ian then had to do the prank interview with Scott yeah. Eastwood. And then and I was he had like, completely forgotten yeah, about Smosh I was like, at that point. I was like, I made some reference to like, oh, yeah, we were at like a karaoke thing. And then after the, the camera stopped rolling, I was like, I was like, no, but really, though, like we, we like ran into you. And he's like, he's like, yeah, OK. Oh, who's Scott <laughs> like, Eastwood again? So he's, exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's Clint Eastwood's son. Yeah, okay. he's Clint Eastwood's son. Uh, he's yeah. not. You wouldn't recognize him, but it was the same day that I did the um, the prank interview with him. God, I always blank on it. John Boyega. John Boyega. John Boyega. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, you're you're right. Like Smosh does know how to party. Like we went to that we one down. VidCon party, and we were like, "There's 35 people," and they were like, "Okay, Smosh, come on in." <laughs> and a couple influencers like came up to me, and were I won't name names, but they were like, "Can we like be in with your group?" And I was like, "Yeah, Matt, add three more people." <laughs> yeah. 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 Because like we're just silly about yeah. it, you know. There's yeah. there's obviously it's definitely not influencers cool. who like party party. We, yeah, no. We party as in we're dancing stupidly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just laughing all night. We'd be I mean, doing the same sh sober or not. Yep. Yes. Yeah. There was Buka de Beppo's as well. Yeah, Buka de Beppo. Oh, yeah. Buka Smosh is obsessed with Buka de Beppo. Every year we have a Buka de Beppo night, except for last year we didn't get to have a Buka de Beppo night. But... Hashtag not spawn. But one time we were. We were. One time. One time. Yeah. For your birthday. For your birthday. The last time we went. Yeah. That was great. I'm so excited. Dude, we're going to have a party eventually. Mm -hmm. And you're not invited. Nope. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. I'm gonna make my own party. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have this little memory that I thought about, and I saw my stories, and it was super random. And I don't know if I ever told you guys this story, but a couple years ago, I went to Oktoberfest in Big Bear, which is like three hours away from LA. Mm -hmm. And um, I we were just sitting, and um, Claudio was like, "Look at the little kid," and he was watching a Smosh sketch that I had pitched. It was every spa ever. Oh! And um, I, I turned and I uh, turned around. And I was like, "Oh, you're watching Smosh?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah." And I was like, "Cool, I'm in that video." And his eyes just like lit up, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm right there." And it like happened right at the moment. Oh, and he thought it was the coolest thing Aww. ever. It was so cool. And then you gave him a beer. And then I gave him, and we chugged a beer together. Then I punched <laughs> it. it <laughs> then I threw his phone into the lake. No, you were like, you're like, I'm in that video. And then he immediately switched it to a Markiplier video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh okay. It's just weird because outside of our bubble, it was happening. Mm -hmm. So weird. What it's easy you, to I forget. Know, I know, dude. I got recognized for Smosh when I was in Croatia. <laughs> like it's yeah, not everywhere, people Who watch is? it. They're like Tom Cruise. When people recognize me, I am like floored. Yeah, dude. I'm yeah. like, that's insane. It and happens. then you used to say, Shane, that you got recognized more once we started putting more, um, like. Uh, stuff on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Uh, it's uh, crazy. Many times I've gotten recognized and people have been like, oh, you're on videos on Facebook. And I'm My like- My answer is always oh. so off guard. I'm like, uh, yeah, I guess so. As if they're like, why are you, why do you not know that? Like, <laughs> I looked it up the other day. The The first episode of Spelling Bikini Wax on Facebook has 29 million views. Holy wow. shit. Oh, and yes. and that was you like when we first got back at Mythical, you were re-editing our Smosh sketches and a lot of our videos to put them on Facebook for like that. And yeah, that was my those last were job. Killing it. That was my last job at Defy. They were like, "Hey, do you want to move over from Smosh Pit to getting our stuff on socials and overseeing all the socials and also getting cut downs on Facebook?" And I was like, "Sure." And like with the team there, like came up with a full strategy. And then when I came back, it was like, hey, Sarah, we, we need you to oversee that too again. And, and that's what I did. And yeah, it's dude. crazy. It's crazy what that turned into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it seems like now, just now, like other YouTubers are figuring out <laughs> that they could, that there's like business to be made on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Like Mr. Beast just like signed to Jelly Smack. Like everyone now is like, oh, like there's people on Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. But that's also thanks to you. 
Oh, because you were because well, you kind of you were like watching Facebook and being like, oh, these things do well and these things. That's, oh, yeah. You're just very up on the trend. You like are literally down. multiple beautiful minds in one. Like even just trying to comprehend after you and I like had our video call and you told me like trying to comprehend someone having your job. It's like because we have we have an amazing team and already like we're having uh, part, people of our team direct different videos and stuff. But it's like someone who directs the way you do also facility like researching and researching the right stuff i wouldn't even know where to begin and being able to put a smosh twist on it or, or zipping it up upgrading it to being like smosh level content i just cannot comprehend like what your day is like when you do stuff like that so thank you for all that thank you <laughs> <laughs> i think it's I, I mean i think it takes it takes like real passion to be like present and like watching what's going on like i feel the same i feel the same way about rachel who's who's running our socials right now yeah like it's it's like the same thing she's just like in it and on it and understands it to a level that I'm just like, okay. Yeah, and at the top of last year when it was like, hey, Sarah, you're, let's get someone else on the social team and let's get you over to, to Smosh Pit and Smosh Games because it's always been kind of this thing I wanted to do. I've always been yeah. like, I want to I wanna like oversee Smosh Pit and Smosh Games. And so like last year that finally happened, I was nervous about handing over all the work I'd done on social to yeah. someone else. I was and then so you nervous. Were like, and then you wanted to like do like, you're like you're like okay. I'll help this person on social, but then I'll also do pit and games. And we're like, Sarah, we need to eventually get you off of that thing. No, no, no. You I, can't do everything, Sarah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that's but that's the thing is like I cared so much about that thing, but yeah. Rachel is a fucking yeah. machine, yeah. and like awesome. it's just so cool to see where it went because at the beginning it was such a small team mm -hmm. and it was just like me and Tommy like just pumping out as much as we could and did it and now it's like a team of like five or six people like many editors many many people mm -hmm. and like that is so cool to see and I think me leaving the the silver lining is is like what's the next step for you guys? How do you guys level up? And the the fact that other people are directing and more creative voices are coming in that that was something that Maybe I wasn't capable of of stepping back and looking at big picture because I was having a hard time. Yeah, juggling would, everything. Yeah, I, w I don't. I don't think not capable is the right word. Like nobody's yeah. nobody's capable of. You're of one seeing... of the most capable human beings <laughs> in my life. Nobody's capable of like knowing and seeing everything. So I think that it, a fun way to look at it is 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 we had this really great Sarah era. And now the Sarah <laughs> umbrella, <laughs> and and now you know we'll be we'll be moving on to an era where you know we're raising up maybe some other voices that are within within the company, and you know the person that will be doing your job next won't be doing all of the work you did because that's not possible. <laughs> um, we're just gonna dress but, Spencer up in colorful clothing and hope he just can figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> but I think it'll be I think it'll be a, a wonderful evolution. Yeah, and that's what I'm so excited about for you guys is like, yeah, what are the new processes? What's the next level? What's the new journey? And like, obviously we're all gonna st stay in touch. I love you guys forever. And like that, it, it, of course we're not gonna talk to each other every day because I've talked to you guys the most in um, probably my whole life. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to always be around. Yeah. I'm going to uh, answer all your Instagram stories like I already do. And yeah. Everything. Yeah. But We're still going to be exchanging yeah, we, we TikToks on the daily. We don't want to leave you alone with Claudia. We know how horrible that can be. <laughs> <laughs> Claudio is such a rock star. Oh, I did want to mention like that eat it or eat it with him in it. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know if we're going to ever have children. I don't know. Also, no, no one's business. But <laughs> if we do, like showing that video will be so fun in the yeah. future, and like bringing Claudio into the little world we have, like, yeah. it's just that was like such a nice little moment. That was amazing. He's the best. I think we should. I think we should give Sarah a twelve, a twelve Sada Wido salute. <laughs> twelve. <laughs> Yeah, like a twelve gun salute. Okay, but yeah. it's but it's twelve of them. Sada Weedle. Okay, so twelve Sarah Whittles. All right, yeah. ready. One, two, three. Sada Weedle. 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 Yeah. 
I do want to. I want to take a look at my notes because I've been thinking about this so much. I don't want to miss. <laughs> yeah, because you because I because I saw, I've been thinking about this <laughs> so much. Because I saw that you posted <laughs> you posted something on Instagram where you're like, I wrote this big thing about like my career I'm and dead. and then Instagram as they do deleted all of it <laughs> on yeah. accident. And I was like. I Hey, when that happens, it's always the ones that you see. Yeah, I was like, fart you, fart Graham. It's always the largest like message. Yeah, because I had I had this whole thing about like you can recalibrate your dreams and like maybe because when I hosted at Clever, I was not into it. It was fun to wear little dresses and read a teleprompter, but like it was just wasn't tickling my soul. Do you think you can pull that out of your brain right now? Like what you were what you were going to say on that Instagram post. I think what I, I think it's like all about finding what tickles your soul. And I think it's okay if it changes. And for me, I loved work and I loved this playground I got to play in and I was so passionate and I maybe spread myself too thin sometimes and I learned a lot about myself and I challenged myself a lot. And it's not a lack of passion that I'm leaving. It's just, I want to find a new part to tickle in my soul and another part and another part. And then maybe if I don't like this for, for I discover that I didn't like it. And I discovered that I love this. And I think like, I think (laughs) we're afraid to commit to a thing or we think we're too far in a thing to quit, but it's not quitting. It's evolving. And you're not, I came to L.A. to, like, be like a Tina Fey, like, in front of the camera and behind the camera. Eventually, I was like, I don't really want to be in front of the camera. I really want to be behind the camera. I really want to be in social. And what if I did this? And what if I got into a product uh, type of environment rather than a content environment? Like, you shouldn't be afraid to make calculated risks to find the thing that tickles your soul. And you should never be afraid of that. Because I think if you feel like you're stuck, maybe that's a sign that it's time to move a little bit. Yeah, it's like the more you follow your dream and actually pursue it, the more you learn about that passion, learn about yourself. Yeah. Because your dream and that thing that you really want to do, that's like it's it's you. Like it's Mm -hmm. it's you. So the more you chase that. The more you learn about, because like yeah, we grew up thinking like oh, being Tina Fey, that's that's the thing I want. Like me being like, I want to be a writer. Uh, That's I don't understand what that is fully, but I want to do that. And the more you actually chase those things, you understand that it's not like it's it's not like a a few switches on a board, like an entire circuit board of options. And I can do this and a little bit of this. Like there's there's side hustles, there's hobbies. Mm -hmm. Like I think that the world is slowly starting to realize like. Stop asking, what do you do for a living? Because that's yep. not your life. Yeah. Your job is your job and you can love it. Mm-hmm. You can. That's great if you do, but it's not who you are and you like you find that out. And there's not only one spot for you. Yeah. There's so many spots in different places and mm-hmm. it could change as it goes. And it's like there are jobs that didn't exist. Like I talked to someone that has a social media like undergrad degree or whatever. And I'm like, that wasn't your up thing when I went to school mm-hmm. right. bachelor's like, in Twitter yeah <laughs> so it's like you don't you don't even know there's lawyers for like dogs YouTube channels yeah. there's like there's so there's lawyers <laughs> for dogs but there's so many like areas that you can find yourself in in life and I, I don't think you should ever limit yourself I think I think also it could I, I don't want it to be misconstrued that like what you did was like flippant going from like thing to thing like it, whatever you decide to do you put your whole self into it. And I think I think that's an important thing to know. It's not just like, ooh, maybe I'll maybe I'll be a cook today. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm going to like do this thing and I'm gonna pour everything into it to make it to see it happen. So yeah. That's another thing that I guess I need to learn from you is like we all or a lot of people like think it's like this one path and like I'm supposed to go this way and if I make any wrong decisions I I'm I'm mucking it up and like understanding to like let go like this in my my mantra from therapy was like detach from outcome because all my fears in life was like fearing the outcome and like what the hell is gonna happen but like what you're doing is like you're literally you're following your soul and you're you're following what works for you and I mean just talking on learning from you like I you have inspired me and helped me so much and like seeing you be like 
so creative, so confident and being able to be so professional and like own a room and like you're just you are in control. Like I, I look up to you so much as like people listen to you and like you can be a great boss and a really fun person at the same time. And that's what inspired me to level up and like be more professional. And like now I'm directing multiple videos a month, something that a few years ago could, could not fathom. Like looking at our past directors being like, I don't even know where to start with that. And like you made me feel like I could be capable. You made me feel like I could like, you know, because when you're put in an environment where it's like, that's not an option, like, you know, back at Defy. Mm -hmm. We'll bring it up again and again. Like that was not an option. We weren't we weren't told our value. We weren't told like there was anything we could do other than what they told us that day when we come on set usually. And like you made me feel like I could be more. And um I don't know where I'd be without you. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm doing it, bitch. I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> this, um, is a, this is a bridesmaid speech. That's yes. right, bitch. Oh, I did, you didn't invite me to your wedding, though. So that's oh. I did. I did. I you did. I invited did. everyone. In Italy, I was though. like, I was no. I was like, do you guys want to go? Like, I could invite. But I think we just got we just got close that summer. Yeah. Too. Yeah. No, it's I'm totally joking. But whatever, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I bitch. I love you, bitch. So um, detached from outcome, I guess. Cause like, I don't know. I don't know what this job is gonna be without you. You guys will be fine. I know, but I don't and you want guys will it. you'll thrive totally. You see how sweaty my hands are. <laughs> um, you guys will thrive because like I I wouldn't have. And this is why I was like when I put in my notice, I was like literally shaking because. I I only did so much because you guys were here and and the team was supporting me and I had that if I it doesn't matter what level of passion I had if I didn't have the support if I didn't have the talent from every fucking person on this team like what it is today is like the love child of all of our passion and effort and put in and I just like found a way and found a position to like orchestrate some things together but like then other people's other people completed things and other people like followed through on that and I think like to touch on your note about like being afraid of the outcome like I think about that a lot and and my past failures in my life and and stuff like that and I try not to view it that way even like relationships that have failed I don't I can't take that as a failure because it made me who I am and I love who I am and I also love the relationship I'm in so if if you can like reflect that in other parts of your life where you failed, where you fell off a bike, you get back on the bike and you try it again and then you figure out if you like being on a bike or not. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 that's what I I I want for you guys is to just like continue doing the hard work you guys are doing but also realize like there's other stuff outside of here like enrich yourself. And I and that's what I'm pursuing now is like what is it? Obviously, I'll always be in love with creating videos and content and, yeah. like, you know, text you guys ideas just and because. wax. And get, <laughs> you guys can continue spelling be about, like, do it. Do <laughs> it. When you can, do it. Um, and I just want to, I just want you guys to, like, continue to have fun and, like, find new areas to, to grow. And, like, the JoJo Siwa thing, so excited about that. Oh, my that. God. Oh, my God. I, when does this come out? Uh, this comes out May fourth. Oh, okay. Can we? Yeah, we can talk about it a little bit. Well, yeah, it's public. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I didn't know if it'd be like, oh, it's gonna be already too old or something. But yeah, we we threw a tweet out to JoJo Siwa and be like, you wanna be on Jonah to Live? Because we talked about it in a video, and she freaking replied, yes. just yes, and then yes. followed the Smosh account. Hell I'm yeah. shaking in my boots she's because gonna, I've made she's a few jokes. Rush. I've made We're going to get a shorter stool. No, I think you should do a bit with her. Oh my you should God. DM her. Oh my God. Okay. I will. But that is, I will say the one thing I'm a little sad about, but it's not going to, you can't let it, I, I'm not going to trip on it. Is that like when I finally like got to oversee Smosh Pit and Smosh Games, like fully the panorama hit and I had to do a lot of problem solvings and I just had, I had so many fun ideas. I had so many fun yeah. ideas for guests and stuff, including Jojo was on my list. I want to bring in drag queens. I want to bring in a legitimate clown and mime and like <laughs> I want to like bring in all these people but like I'm not going to harp on that because I know you guys are going to do it and you're going to do whatever you feel is right and um, no clowns. I can't <laughs> I can't let like that overshadow like all the amazing things here and like 
I have so much love for everyone here and in front of the scenes, behind the scenes, the Smosh community as well. Like, thank you guys. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Wow. Like, this <laughs> is, I would not, I would not be the person I am without you guys. I would not be in the position I am without you guys. I would, I would not be in LA like as long as I have without you guys. And this has been an incredible journey that I will hold so close to me like forever. Get a tattoo of us. Yeah. I will not get a smosh tattoo. Um. <laughs> I will f never get a Come smosh on. tattoo. Never do that. Never do that. Um, who are you going to miss the most? Mm, oh, good God. question. Good question. Shane. I think it's Shane. I think it's Gary. Him and I didn't talk a lot during the day, though. Shane? Mm. Why didn't you talk to Sarah? Mm. Oh, my God. I'm not going to say. Okay. I'm going to make you guys you battle it You can text it, it to me. I know it's not me, so you could text it to me. I think I'm going to miss everyone, like, equally. There's not, like, one <laughs> yeah, person Ian. I stand. Because also, I'm going to stay in touch with you, yeah. stupid. <laughs> we know. That's like, true. We're going to hang That's out. True. Like, before you leave. Um, yeah, no, like... We got to make up for this missing out on this past year. Yeah, we have to party. Hard. We have to, we have to party extremely. Hard. We have to move in together. We have to move in together. <laughs> okay. and party so hard, get enough hangovers in. I think we can make a smosh version of Terrace House. I've been thinking about it. Let's yeah. do. It. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um. Time for a shoot, dude. It is time for a shoot, dude. All right, guys. Well, let's liven up the mood a little bit. Ooh. We got ourselves Ooh. a shoot, dude. Ooh. We. Ooh. Ooh. Shoot, dude. 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 Look at all that merch. Look at you. I know. I came. This is fully merch. It's like multi-chromatic, you know? Because instead of monochromatic, because it's like all the colors are there, but it's multiple colors. He tried to outdo me in how many colors you could yeah, wear. How I tried, many I tried colors is it? Does it wear? <laughs> <laughs> All yes. Um, okay. Well, welcome to Shoot Dude. This uh, this is your stories that you guys have submitted to us that make us go <laughs> shoot, dude. Um, I believe is this one from uh, this. So this one that we have here, we we dug through our emails and we found this one uh, in the shoot dude. Email. And when we hear the shoot dude, that, that'll be one thing. But if you do you, after that, do you have a shoot dude, smosh shoot dude memory that you made me want to tell at the very end? Oh yeah. What's the shoot dude? What is the shoot dude? An embarrassing moment. Just embarrassing like, a, like where you go, Ooh, that was amazing. Like, did you poopy your pants on the set Whether of it's show with no name? Novel? I don't feel like there's any shoot dudes. Everything's been perfect. Where like you yeah. accidentally like, had an awkward exchange with one of the celebrity guests. So like something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't I'll know. Think about think it while about we're it. listening yeah. to the shoot, something. dude. I think it could be fun. All right. This person says, one time, like any good person with a good sense of humor, I agreed to help a friend punch up a tweet and make it sound better. I also threw it a like and left a funny response because friendship. Oh, no. However, as a social media professional who yep. gets paid to write copy, <laughs> I know my worth. Do you know what this is? Um, No, but I, it was very relatable up okay. to that point. <laughs> Which is why I sent my friend a Venmo charge requesting 73 cents for my Twitter ghostwriting and engagement services. Friend and family discount, you know? But he completed the payment and the rest was history. So I thought. You can imagine the shock I felt when I received a message from Sarah Whittle. <laughs> yep, I know this story. That said, excuse me, what? With a screenshot of the Venmo transaction. <laughs> Turns out that if you use the word engagement on Venmo, it doesn't matter what the rest of the context says. Your local Sarah Whittle will assume that she witnessed, and I quote, a proposal transaction. <laughs> 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 to be honest, it's funny, but it also makes me think, does Sarah think I'd accept a proposal via Venmo? <laughs> I did, I did think, did she think this was me paying my dowry? <laughs> Shoot, dude. Wow. Uh, so this yeah. did involve you. you. It did. I remember it happened pretty recently. I think because I had like engagement on my mind because like Grace and Elliot just got engaged. Yeah. And Jenna mm. and Julia. Yeah, crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and so. Uh, and that shoot dude comes from Kiana. Kiana. Oh. And Spencer. 
And Kiana and Spencer are the cutest little two together. Uh, they're just the best of friends. And she's his ghostwriter. Um, she's always like do it, making his jokes better. I'm not putting so anyone two, on blast. Spencer's very funny. Um, oh you know, Spencer, the editor you see, and yes. Kiana, our content manager, she, uh, so they had a funny exchange on Twitter. And then I saw the Venmo request that just said engagement. And I was like, wait a minute, are you guys making a joke about being engaged? And then I was like, oh, no, that's a word for like when you like just, you do something on mm-hmm. social media. Mm-hmm. You took your two coworkers and went, no, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> I ship you. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. That's so cute. Uh, Kiana messaged me the other day with a tweet I did um, and was like, brilliant, no notes. And it was... <laughs> When I was pretending to be Shane and I wrote, I tore my ACL while wiping my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. Shane wow. did that. Yeah, true story. I'm an athlete. I yeah. feel like I need a nap from all the crying I've done. Oh, yeah, we're, we're all, all very really tired. <laughs> we're not done yet. Oh, is there a mariachi band? Well, I feel, like, I feel like we should just say some final words. Okay. Get those last little- Rest in peace. Tear boys out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Shane? Okay. Speech. (laughs) Uh, I said it on Try Not to Laugh, but like seriously, um, the the channel is only around now because of Sarah Whittle. Like you sincerely, uh, there. and I I mean, not saying this like, like, what would this channel be without you? I mean, literally (laughs) there was a point, and I'm not gonna say when exactly, but there was a point when I was like looking at the views and I was like, this channel's about to go away. And then you came in with just so many ideas so much direction so much focus and it just lifted the channel up and like it's been soaring ever since um and i think in in that way you know you talked about us growing and everything and orchestrating like knowing how to bring us out like so much of our growth is probably thanks to you i mean as performers i think i think you helped bring that out i mean i've certainly discovered myself uh, a lot through on camera and I think that's a lot thanks to you. Probably you saw more in me than I saw in myself and that Aww. that's helped over the years. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you we make jokes about how like you dress so vibrantly and stuff, but you really bring an energy mm-hmm. to rooms that you're in. And I know you're gonna continue to do that. Um, we will hear legends of, of your <laughs> of your travels tell. and journeys from other people. I'll be out, I'll probably be out like in a diner in in Nevada in the middle of the yeah. desert, and someone be like, oh, "Have you heard the tales of Sarah Whittle? The woman whose hair color changes every week, and her, her shirts." She's like that horse from Wizard of Oz, <laughs> <laughs> but with an Italian husband. With an Italian husband. <laughs> um, no, but like seriously, I don't know. You're you're you are a. I don't know. We're we're big personalities on camera, but you're an even bigger personality off camera. Um, you bring so much to the table, and you're gonna do that no matter where you go. Oh, so. thank you. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that so much. I am a. I am also a little a result of of our environment that we've created too. Mm-hmm. I think like you know normal productions, you wear all black, and I was like, no, I want. I'm allowed to wear <laughs> with all that. <laughs> That's fun, Courtney. I've been kissing your ass this whole episode. I like I, it. Good, because you deserve <laughs> it. And like, it's it's no exaggeration. Um, yeah, like we, I was saying to you last night, like you and Claudio have been through so much together, but I feel like we have been through so much together, like thick and thin through everything with this brand. And I loved that our last like really big hangout thing was like getting to share hotel rooms in Australia <laughs> yeah. and shopping together. Yeah. Remember those crazy fans? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So crazy. Um and I and I really like like I said in the try not to laugh, like I'm really I am excited for the people that get to meet you and get to know you and like see what you're capable of and like you who's calling me? Sorry. Um, and anyways, back to the, um, and just seriously, like I, I looked to you for so much, like when there was any uncertainty, uh, I feel like me and Olivia really like, you are my rock a lot of times. And like, sometimes you and I would look at each other, like when, when, when there was uncertainty in Smosh, you, you, I will say it. We, I would be like, Sarah, we I feel like we could run this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you and me could take over the world and like and I'd always be like just give it time we'll yeah we'll get time, time. <laughs> I think that's the energy that I think you're gonna bring wherever you go 
And yeah, I like whoever those people are that you get to make friends with and and hang out by the water cooler with and and you they you roast them and catch <laughs> up with them. You're gonna make so many you're, new friends. You're gonna be best friends with a five foot seven guy named Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be best friends. What's yeah. up? I'm Blaine Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really, I'm really excited for you. I think it's such a fun, amazing opportunity. Like you, you've done so much, and like this is one of those moments, like I said, where it's like you're leveling up and you're being acknowledged for the talent that you are. Like, and I, I feel like you will always deserve more of that. Like, I, I mean it. You will, ne- like, no. <sighs> corny words please <laughs> just i appreciate you very much and i and i hope everyone you meet appreciates appreciates you as much as we do and if they don't we will we can beat them up yeah i will cyber bully them you no. can, you can... <laughs> <laughs> don't do that <laughs> ian yeah i think i think um you got to write yours down no no I, i'm just looking at the computer i'm not even actually looking at anything <laughs> It's just my it's my comfort of just looking at a screen instead of looking at people in their eyes. Uh, yeah, I think I don't know. I think you're gonna do really great things, but I think it's also important to note that like it doesn't have to be career. Like you know, you can you can do really great things elsewhere in other parts of your life. Like your career doesn't define you, and I think you're obviously based on your fashion. A, 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 a good example of that. I I I think you're going to make a lot of good friends in your next place, and I think you're going to do a great job. But you don't feel the pressure to do the best ever <laughs> fucking job imaginable <laughs> that'll force ten people to have to or replace me. <laughs> it's your <laughs> fault. We fail. <laughs> if we fail, it's because you won't. Yeah. And we no. say this, but you're going to end up being hard. president of another company <laughs> or be. something. You might be, oh, but but geez. I think president but I, of the United States. I have <laughs> I have zero expectations for for your for your next job. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not saying like go out there and like and just kill it because I I know you will. That's just the person that you are. Um, I hope you have a really great time. Obviously, this isn't goodbye. No, 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 not even close. No, no, definitely but I think, not. I think you'll do great. But Thank I, have, you. I, ha- I, I don't, I don't have. That sounds mean when I say I don't have high expectations. Yeah, what the f- Ian. But I just mean, <laughs> but I just mean to say, like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to put that pressure on you. Like, I think, I think that you bring enough worth wherever you go. Thank you. I really, and really appreciate that. I hope you can acknowledge that. That's so kind, and I, I really appreciate that because that's really the the thing that made my decision clear was like i need to find i need to invest in my home like i've invested in my work family so much and now it's time for me to like invest in my family and my my home what is home for me mm-hmm. and and i have claudio who's such an amazing support system and he's so excited about all of this and my cats and i'm like I want to create a beautiful home. And like, yeah. I didn't feel that in LA. I, I didn't feel like that was the right place. And, and that that ultimately was the, the only reason. And I right now I feel like I'm in a dream because it's you guys are all saying such nice things and I feel so seen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I really, really appreciate it. it. It was very unexpected to get like a goodbye like this. And I'll never forget it. Well, we'll never forget you. Yeah. As we go, as soon as imagine we walk, we walk out, out of here, door. and I'm just like, "Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> My fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what was her? What was her name again? Rebecca Little. <laughs> Rebecca. I'm gonna miss Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I think I think you've cried enough. You've cried enough for one day. Sarah. I'm gonna sleep so good and then the day after I cry I'm the funniest I've ever been wow because my brain releases all the do a bunch of TikToks (laughs) (laughs) well guys I hope you enjoyed this special little podcast if you haven't seen the awesome shoot dude merch give it a shot at smosh.com we got mugs big mug fit more coffee big (laughs) mug it's a big mug it's big mug fit fit more coffee coffee. Uh, also this great beanie it's very comfy. It is nice. I like want to make more hoo hoo ones out of this. Out it's of this, nice, right? Out of this weave, yeah. It's good. It's a nice weave on your head. Yeah. Thanks. 
Um, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for listening to to this podcast. I know it's been a, been a long time. Will there be more? I'm sure, but like, not like really. Not, this is not. We're not like back. We're not like yeah. There this won't be just, a podcast next. Week. We're, it's a we're just doing them occasion. occasionally, like when Sarah leaves. Yeah, so. someone someone as special as Sarah deserved. Like we deserved a space to like fully yeah. show you our appreciation and let you tell your story. So. Yeah. So I'll leave so we can do another podcast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like, every, we do your There's podcast. The everyone's ABC like, spin-off, yeah. the Bradleys. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's just like, Shane. Um, yeah, you were loud, man. You were, you screamed a lot. Anyway, he's so, stinky. so, he's so oh. horny. Which, speaking of it, we're referencing. Yeah. There's a try not to laugh out right now where we. Everyone roast Sarah Whittle like everyone. I think it's my favorite thing we've done. I was like, <laughs> I starstruck by our own mm-hmm. content. So go watch that right now. It's on Smosh if you Pit. Haven't already. Check it out. It's, it's a number sixty nine. Yeah. Yeah. Ew, demonetized. And with <laughs> that, I'm Ian Hecox. This is Shane Top. That's Courtney Miller. And this is the dearly departed Sarah Whittle. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> She's please, don't, please don't die before this podcast comes out. She's, She's off to go live in oh, a yeah, tiny acorn <laughs> Knit sweaters for the children. Bye. 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 B